guys, welcome to Doodle Club. So I'm Claire for those guys that don't know. And today we've got a few themes that include the colour purple and portrait. So if you want to have a little run around your house now and find all those coloured pens that you have that are purple, and let's get ready. Okay guys, so we're going to start off with our doodle page and it's going to be A4 this time. And I'm going to just start off with a little bicycle popped into my head so I'm going to just get it down on my page and start to break up that blank space that I have and then I'm going to go in this bottom corner here and I'm going to draw a little carrot I'm going to do a little carrot top and just add in some little details with the grooves there and I'm going to go up into this top corner here and I'm going to draw a little paintbrush with the bristles kind of almost brushing along the page with a little bit of paint on the end there as well on the tip and in this bottom corner I'm going to go for a pencil pretty wonky pencil <laughs> but it's just little doodles so don't worry about them being too perfect and I'm gonna go just in this top corner with some circles some shapes and then I'm gonna go for that double outline that I've kind of been working on with my style but I'm gonna try something different with dashes and see how that works and see how that frames it on my page so I frame my carrot and then I'm gonna go around my paintbrush it's good practice as well, just getting used to holding your pen, drawing different kinds of lines, building different textures there. So I'm just doing, going to do that double broken line around the paintbrush and a single broken line around the bike here. And I'm going to go all the way around with a solid line as well, just to see how it looks different compared to the two broken outlines and then I'm going to do a third one around that paintbrush and a third one around that carrot as well it is a solid line and just kind of really frame it and give it a real purpose on the page so these doodle pages you can experiment try different things there's no right or wrong there's no theme so just whatever pops into your head maybe things that you've drawn before and there's a little world and I'm gonna go in here with some just kind of like vines swell like leaves I'm just gonna build them up and on the opposite side here I'm gonna go with the same kind of vines but not as curled and add some little details of broken dashes and lines inside just to show where it kind of like the fold in the leaf is so you don't have to draw lots and lots of detail for it to be super effective you can just go quite simple with it but kind of experiment do it really really well and there we have some more vines on the top there as well and I'm gonna just do some dots around these and try different effects like I say this page is for just experimenting maybe there's something that you've always wanted to try that you've maybe seen on TikTok or on social media this is the time to give it a go and then I'm gonna just go all the way around here and then I think I'm gonna do one solid block line around there as well to kind of frame it just like that and I'm just thinking about how I can kind of keep that shape as well but also frame it and add kind of texture to it shade almost kind of making it pop out of the page so there we have a little frame around the world and our vines at the top there and I'm just going to quickly do the dots around this side as well here. So if you're not sure about what to draw, draw maybe something that's in front of you, maybe something that's a hobby of yours or maybe you've got a fruit bowl at home, try just drawing all the fruit that's in your bowl or maybe in your fridge try drawing a block of cheese maybe <laughs> and then I'm gonna go in with some kind of wobbly wonky kind of shapes going in there and all those blank spaces that I have because I feel like this is kind of like part of the style that I've started to build up as well so I'm just gonna follow all around those shapes and I think I'm gonna include quite a few different patterns in each of those shapes as well so I'm going to go with just some simple lines over here in the corner and then I think I'm going to do some squares because I have done some triangles before 
and things like that and I do quite often draw squares but not kind of blocked out making it almost look like it's in the background I think is what I want to kind of go for with this so I'm going to do all my squares and then I'm going to add some going kind of like behind that line as well almost like it's going into like its own kind of portal space so it is really what pops into your head what you really fancy drawing just up to you you can take inspiration from mine if you want to have a little go at recreating the things that I'm drawing or you can try some, try some bubble lettering as well in there just give it a go but I think I'm definitely gonna have to include some triangles in this <laughs> so I'm gonna go in here with some triangles and then disperse them into more wobbly shapes and just add little shapes inside as well I'm gonna keep going across this whole kind of block blank space that I've got and I'm gonna just keep on going keep on filling that space just with my wonky shapes and like I say it is just good practice as well just to get really used to holding the pen training your wrist up as well and sometimes I feel like my wrist used to get really tired where now after drawing pages and building it up from a5 size and things like that all the way up to a4 and then maybe you could uh, have a go at maybe an a3 size as well so i'm gonna go in with some like polka dots in this top corner here just to kind of like match up with those block belt squares that i've got and then i'm gonna do with a bit of cross hatching and there we have it my beautiful doodle page for today so next we're gonna have a little go at portrait i'm gonna start off with just a simple circle and then I'm going to just draw out a basic kind of template for myself. It makes it a lot easier then just with scaling up the face. So as you can see, I've done my circle with some lines across. So I'm going to just draw out five lines across and then go in between each of them. So they're halved. And as you can see, I've started to draw a little triangle there for the kind of jawline. So the equal distance between the chin and the nose will be the same equal distance as from the nose to the eyebrows. And then from the eyebrows to the top of the head will be the same distance as well. So if you kind of almost think of it in to different sections and break it down, it doesn't seem as daunting. And I've just kind of sketched out where I want the eyebrows to be. So I do apologise about you seeing the top of my head <laughs> for this little bit. But I will draw over it in a um, pen just to finalise those lines as well. So I started off with just a simple circle to the nose and then I'm just sketching out the eyes as well. So I'm just using kind of overly almond shape there for the eyes and then draw the pupils and then just draw where the eyes the hood of the eyes are as well and just sketch out roughly where I want the neck and the shoulders and then just the hairline I'm going to just draw that in and just kind of do the general shape I think I'm going to do some longish hair and just round off the jaw just like that so this is all just kind of like a template for now so I'm not worrying too much if it's not perfect because I can kind of finalize those little bits in a moment my fine liner. I'm just drawing which kind of direction I want the hair to go in, just like that, just marking where I want the pupils. And there we have it. So I'm going to go in now with my fine liner and I'm going to just start off with the hair because that kind of overlaps, overlaps the face. So I'm just going to kind of do the things that are a bit more in front so I don't have to kind of draw them over the top of other lines that I've created because I've already got a template to work from. So then I'm going to just draw around the eyes and do just one straight line and draw the little eyeballs in there as well and do a little bit of detail. I'm not too worried about the detail being perfect because I haven't done this from a reference so it is sometimes a lot easier if you do have a reference to go by and you can try using different kind of techniques with your pen see what kind of different textures that you can build up try drawing in different directions and 
try not taking your pen off maybe the page and just try different things so there you have it and there's my nose with some nostrils I'll just draw the mouth in there the top lip and the bottom lip I'm not drawing huge amounts of detail I'm just kind of building it up myself and then going in with thicker pens as well where I want that darker shadow to be and where they kind of overlap each other there as well so just go around the hairline again and there we have the, some little details in the neck just keep going with the hair quite loose pen strokes across just add in the shoulder and some collarbones and already it's coming together and just as a quick doodle I'm super proud of this so now I'm going to just have a little go at practicing some eyes I think up here so I'm going to just draw out a little frame for myself a little template again and zoom in for you so you can see it a little bit better so I'm going to draw out the lines across and I know that that's my centre so then I'm going to draw the eyes out from there just like that and then I'm going to just have a little go at some eyebrows and then draw the eyes in with the little bits of detail in the pupil and the iris there so now I'm going to go in and I'm going to have a little go at a fountain pen just to see what kind of different textures and how different it is to that fine liner that I've used. I do apologise about my head being in shot again <laughs> and just add some eyelashes in there just like that. And there we have my eyes and I've just realised I've forgotten my eyelashes on my actual big portrait there as well so just add them in. So I'm going to just go all the way around both eyes there we have it. So I'm going to just rub out all those guidelines that I created for myself using pencil and just give it that kind of finalised look with just that ink left. And this is just super satisfying to do as well. <laughs> but I definitely need to get some more rubbers as well because I always just lose track of my rubbers and then end up using the little tiny ones on the top of my pencils. And then I regret it when I don't have a rubber when I really need it <laughs> when I'm out and about. So there we go. So I think I'm going to have a little go at doing a nose again for you here. So I'll start off with a simple circle and then I just add in the little nostrils there and then around the nose and just the top of the nose. And if you've got quite a bulbous nose that you're drawing, I just add two little dashes in there and I just feel like it works and then for eyebrows just practicing with my fountain pen and just seeing what kind of textures I can build up of the hair there and there we have it so I'm gonna have a little go at some more lips here I think it's just practice makes perfect and it's just try different things out and if it doesn't work you'll definitely learn something from it so just keep going and there we have my little portraits page so next we have a theme of purple. So one thing that I love that is purple is lavender. So I'm gonna have a little go at drawing some lavender. So I'm gonna start off with a curved line. I'm gonna draw a little leaf. And then the technique I use for drawing the actual lavender flowers is by just drawing almost a heart shape, but by being super loose with it. So. I'm not too worried if it doesn't look like a heart because I don't really want it to look like a heart. The way I put it is draw a really wonky heart. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do some three lavenders there crossing over and then I'm gonna have a go at a, some lavender that has three little bits off of one stem. And there we have it, do my little wonky hearts there. And on that last one, and I'm just doing kind of like an, a little overly shape at the top as well of the, uh, the stem that I'm doing. And then I'm going to go over with my pen. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect because lavender is nature made. And also with nature, you don't get straight lines either. So doing it freehand is your best way. Don't, don't worry too much about then drawing a straight line or anything with a ruler. 
just do a really wonky line and uh, just work with it so there we go just finish that one up there and then onto this little three off the same stem move on a whole heart and it is just super fun to draw to be honest and there we go i think i need to just finish off the leaves on that other one as well once i've done this there we go and i do quite like how the uh, the fountain pen works with this as well it kind of gives it a little bit of texture almost just with the way that the pen goes down on the page so the next thing i'm going to do that is purple themed is i'm going to go for a flower so again nature themed it was hard trying to think of things that are just purple without being ma like made purple by us humans anyway so i did a do a little bit of research and yeah i couldn't really find many except kind of like flowers and lavender and stuff so have a little go at drawing these flowers so i'm just kind of drawing out basic petal shapes there and not worrying about them being too wonky either again like i say there's no uh, kind of like no right or wrong either with this because i'm not trying to make it look like a specific flower that i've seen either i'm just with the idea of purple in my head i feel like this flower would definitely be purple <laughs> almost reminds me of a like a daisy or is it a buttercup flower so maybe add a little bit of yellow or something in the middle and there we have our flowers so in this bottom bit I think I'm gonna go for a cupcake so I'm gonna start off with the casing and then I'm gonna do the icing on top so I started off with just kind of like a triangle shape just to give myself a little framework and then I'm gonna go over in my fountain pen and I'm just going to curve off where that cupcake case would meet the icing just like that and follow those curves around and then I'm just going to add in a little bit of depth to it a little bit of shading and stuff in there without adding too much detail as well I'm just thinking what kind of what are the basics with it what's going to be the most effective going to add a little bit of texture there on the bottom where the shadow would be for the cupcake and then I think my next thing that I'm going to go for is I'm going to just draw a circle and see what patterns I can come up with with using my purple pens as well so just give a little rub out on all those pencil workings that I've already created like I say make it look super professional and almost like a finished piece there we have it so you can stick these drawings in your sketchbook or draw directly into your sketchbook or you can just keep it put it into a nice little ring binder folder so that you have a portfolio style almost so I'm just gonna do little testers of my pens just so that when I go to use them I know exactly what color is gonna come out because sometimes the worst thing ever is when <laughs> you think that a yellow is going to come out and it ends up being a much more orange and you can't take that ink back off the page so with these purples i'm going to go in with that lighter purple and i know it's the lighter purple because i've already tested it <laughs> so i'm just going to give myself that block color of this i think this is more of actually i think it's actually more of an, a lavender color so it's perfect for the lavender that would we're creating here so I'm just going to go inside each of those little flower bits there and I'm just going to do simple little dashes of purple and just this last one and there we have it so I'm going to do a purple cupcake cupcake case I think so I'm going to again do that lighter shade of purple as a base color to then add that darker purple that I have on top I'm going to just go in and start off some of my pattern here as well in this circle. I've already gone over the line, so it's not going to be super, super perfect. But again, I'm just going to experiment with my, uh, my colours that I've got. So now I'm going to go in with that darker purple and add a little bit of shadow in that cupcake case. Just where the folds would be. 
and then I'm gonna go back into my little pattern circle and I'm just gonna add some more circles <laughs> I'm just gonna quite freely just add some kind of jagged lines thicken up that line with the lighter shade there and I'm gonna add in some dots and around that outer lighter shade as well add some dots in there and some in that very middle as well and then I'm gonna go back to my lavender with that dark shade and just do kind of thinnish line on top of that lighter shade just to add a little bit of shading a little bit of texture almost kind of building it up to make it look a little bit more realistic but it is stylized so it's not going to look photographic kind of realistic it's just my style and then add a little bit of yellow into the center of those flowers i think that yellow will work really good on top of my icing as well just with it being a contrasting color to purple and then i need to go in with a little bit of green on my leaves i'm going to go all the way up through the top of my lavender flowers I'm gonna just use my slightly thinner end as well always utilize if you've got two ends on your pen use the thicker one and the thinner one and you'll get different effects different like finishing different end products sorry that you have there as well and there we have just I'm gonna swatch that yellow in case I want to use it in the future and it'll save me time because I'm like I know exactly what code it is already for that color yellow and there we have my purple doodle page for today so our last thing for this session is our reflection doodle and I do apologize for it being a little bit out of focus um, I hope it isn't too bad but you can generally see what I'm drawing <laughs> so I'm going to start off with my bubble lettering and I'm going to just go around that with some dots I'm going to do that on the inside bits as well just so that it kind of pops off my page and like I did in that first doodle page of today's session and all the way around going to go all the way around the club as well so you guys can have a little go at this as well if you want to or try framing your bubble lettering and your typography with a different something else maybe the dashes or see what other things that you can come up with maybe do some tiny little hearts or stars and then I'm going to just do that double frame again but I'm going to do it in a solid bold line and this time I'm going to go all the way around Doodle and Club. And then I'm going to, I think I'm going to just go around it in my black Sharpie just to really kind of make it pop because when I've done this before, I feel like it's worked out really well. And I first started doing that just as an experiment. So this is why I always say to you guys, try new things. You might learn something. And there we go is framed so I'm gonna just go around that and do a little sec well a third <laughs> little frame that a second solid line around there there we go so now I'm gonna start drawing things kind of almost coming out the back behind doodle club so I'm gonna start off with some lavender so I'm gonna do those curved lines and then I'm gonna go on top and do those wonky heart shapes that I created on my purple doodle page and I'm gonna go all the way around all the way along sorry those little stems that I've created and there we go there is my lavender so I add a leaf there as well so next I'm gonna go in with my little pattern doodle that I've done purple but I'm going to use some different size circles in there just like that and then I'm going to go in with that kind of jagged line that I created because I really liked how that turned out and then those dots inside as well and there's my little pattern and then on this side I'm gonna do a little nose I'm gonna do those nostrils the top of the, no the bridge of the nose there as well and then do some lips just like that, just quite quick sketches, not worrying too much about how it turns out. So I'm going to go 
it in this top corner and do some of those flowers, those almost kind of buttercup, buttercup kind of daisy flowers. I did do the, the stem in the wrong direction and I don't know why, so let's work with it. Let's create a flower there. And that's the thing, it, you can, if you feel like you've made a mistake, see how you can then incorporate it into your doodle and into your design. So there we have a little cupcake. And I'm going to just add in a little bit of shadow, a little bit of texture in there. And I'm going to go around that lavender and frame it and around those lips, around the cupcake, around this little bit of lavender and my pattern, all the way around my flowers. I'm going to draw around them all kind of individually so that they all kind of have their own little frame, their own little purpose on their page. So I'm gonna then just have a little practice again of my bubble letter in. I'm gonna write the word purple. And I'm gonna just frame that as well like I did with all my other little individual doodles on this page. And next, I'm gonna go in this top corner and I'm gonna write portrait. I feel like all my little, all my themes today are beginning with P. So, purple and portrait. Maybe you could be inspired to create a purple portrait. See if you can create a portrait of only using purple pencils. <laughs> so I've just framed that purple. And then I'm going to go in with some of my wonky shapes again. That just kind of fill the space that they're in. And then draw some little shapes inside. I'm going to just break up all that kind of blank space, just like that. And then I'm going to start doing some of those square shapes. Again, that I've done in that first doodle page of today. I'm going to have them so they kind of come out from behind the doodles that I've already drawn. And kind of go in off the page there as well, slightly. And then I'm going to go in with some of those vines. So I do, I do just like drawing them to be honest, they're quite fun to draw with the swirls and I like the way they break up the space. Go in with some of those wonky shapes again, do quite a big one with some stripes in and then cross hatch it. So I've done two different diagonal lines there to get that effect and then I'm going to go in with some swirls, I'm going to do some swirls going left and then some swirls going right and in this bottom corner I'm going to do a big shape that fills the space and do some polka dots in there and just scatter them about almost going off the page as well just like that and I'm just taking inspiration from all the different things that I created during this session and I'm just bringing them all together just do some little lines, some some, <laughs> and some more wonky shapes. I wonder how many times I've said wonky shapes today. And I'm just going to fill that last little bit of blank space I have up here, just like that. And we nearly have it. Oh, we've got one last little bit of space down here that I'm sure we can fit in some wonky shapes in there as well. So I'm just going to follow the shapes, use the doodles that I've already got on the page as guidelines and that is bringing us to the end of our doodle reflection. So that is all for today for Doodle Club. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I definitely did, having a little go at some portraits and the noses and eyes there. I hope that you take lots of photos and send them in so that we can see them. But yeah, stay safe guys and wash your hands. Bye!